What's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer and welcome to a brand new episode of Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode we uh, we did some housekeeping I'll call it in um, here in Celadon City and as you saw in the beginning of the of this episode I did a little bit of training. I finished all of the trainers um, in the route outside of Lavender Town. And what else did we do? Oh yes, in the last episode we also evolved our Poliwhirl to to a Poliwrath and we also caught a Jolteon. However, if you noticed in the training we also came across a freaking Entei. It was, it was, there was only one Entei out of the entirety of the training that I did in that patch of grass just outside of Celadon. So I'm thinking that that Entei was the rare encounter, so unfortunately we didn't get it. Anyway, um, before we move on, let's do a very quick recap of our squad. We have Vocal the Jolteon that we caught last episode. Unfortunately, Bashful Nature. Um has Bolt Absorb, as I noticed. Uh, running Tail Whip, Quick Attack, Sand Attack, and Shockwave. Um, next we have Rowdy, the Pidgeotto, level 29. Uh, rocking in with Whirlwind, Sand Attack, Wing Attack, and Quick Attack. Next we have Sarah, the Roselia, with Magical Leaf, Growth, Leech Seed, and Stun Spore. Next we have Hada, our newly evolved Polyrath, level 30 with Water Pulse, Hypnosis, Water Gun, and Brick Break. Next we have Shloom, the level 28 Muck, rocking in Pound, Harden, Disable, and Sludge. And we have, last but not least, Koinic, the level 27 Exatu with Peck, Leer, Nightshade, and Teleport. In this episode, um... We're gonna scout out the gym. So, in order for us to scout out the gym, we're kinda gonna need um, that need ran from before. Unless, never, never really checked, but with with our team the way it is, can any of them no cut? Sarah can. I don't. I could get rid of growth. No, you know what? No. Someone's going to have to sit out, but the question is, who? Um, someone's going to have to sit out. Um, I'm almost tempted to say Koinic. Um, but Koinic needs the... I don't know. I want to give Vocal some time to shine in this episode. Um, so I did a little bit of research before before starting the episode that um, Erica runs level 29s, so we're actually not that bad in terms of levels. Um, You know what? Oh. I'm going to put... I'm going to put Sarah in there for now. I'm going to move you down here, just so that I know it's you. Um, and put Nidoran in. Because we need we need the person with cut, but unfortunately we can't bring all six with us. Um, yeah, let's do it. 
Um, how are we doing on potions? 16 super potions and one max potion. All right, let's do some scouting. Um, also, the game corner. Um, because technically it is a new, because technically it can be considered an encounter for Celadon, um, eventually we will go back and uh, get the encounters that are there, or at least one of them. Um, I don't know if I'm going to dedicate a whole episode to it, but we'll see when we get there. Alright, Erica's gym. What we do? Yeah, okay. There's a lot of trainers in here, um, which is excellent. Okay. Let's see what we got. Developer Cristiano. Mistrebus. Okay. Which is fine, because we were dealing with uh, some Mistrebus in the while during the training montage, so this is... This is pretty good. Half? I'll take... I'll take half damage. Spike. Huh. I'll, I'll take Spite. Shockwave should be able to knock you out, and it does. Good bye. Man, that experience though. Huntail? Vocal is staying in. Vocal is staying in. Shockwave, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Bye bye, Huntail. <laughs> And 915 experience, not quite level up. That's fine. Um, if memory serves, yeah, we can go around. I'm gonna fight all of the trainers in here. Um, just so that, you know, we can get a little bit more experience before fighting Erica. And if everything goes right, we should be able to tackle on a little bit of the uh, Team Rocket. Uh, place as well because we need to we do need to do that. Let's go with another shockwave against this Venonat. Should do half. Or completely dead. I will take that too. <laughs> and quick attack just because quick attack. And bye bye Venonat and again not Quillfish. Uh, oh shoot I meant to go and poison point. Of course. Of course. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Shockwave. Ugh. I misplayed. That was a crit. That was a critical hit. Probably a useless crit, but we got the level up. Level 28. Here we go. What do we got? A dust skull? Do we want to switch out to a dust uh, for a dust skull? Let's give Koinic a level up, or at least try. Let's try give Koinic a level up. Dust skull. Here we go. Um, probably can't do anything much with Peck. It does have damage. That Astonish did nothing, even though it was super effective. Ah, uh, we got that. We ended up getting the high roll on that damage. Shoot. Peck for the kill. That should give us a nice bit of experience. 436. Nah. Breloom. We'll stay in. Because I believe this. We should be quad resist Breloom. Not to mention, Peck also kills in one hit. Just so you guys know. <laughs> 742, not quite level up. There's developer with Veronica. Okay. Trainer number three. Only ladies are learning? Only real ladies. I'll tell you no. I'll tell you no. I can't talk today. I'll have you know, I am more lady than probably any of the ladies here. <laughs> Chris, don't ever say that ever again. Sometimes I don't know the, the, the stuff that comes out of my mouth. There's the shockwave to the unknown. And bop. That was a crit. I will take critical hits over anything else. And this is a Spinda. Let's go. 
I forgot about the poison. I forgot the poison. I forgot about the poison from last battle. I'm not that smart. <laughs> I gotta remember. There's a Psy Beam. I forgot spending those Psy Beam. Not that a special attack isn't really all that, you know, good anyway. I think that was our last one. Yeah. Alright. Um, I'm gonna heal up. Oh! I, mm. Okay, you know what? Good thing I bought antidotes. Not Koinic. Vocal. I'm gonna go and quickly heal up. Because I've, I've been using a lot of Shockwave and the Spite from Mistrevis kind of. Well, it's like cut it down by two, I think it did? Oh. Alright. Back at the Pokemon Center. It sucks that they force you to use Cut to get into two gyms. I can understand Vermilion. I can understand Vermilion City. Uh, because you literally get Cut. Um, in Vermilion City, so I can understand that. Celadon, I don't really understand. Um, I don't think they did that in um, Gold and Silver, and I guess in association Heart Gold and Soul Silver as well. I don't think they did. I think they only just left it. Um, I think they left it open. I'm not 100% sure. Bug catcher webs are sent out. That's an Articuno. I think it's also part flying, so this should be double damage. Hell yeah. There's the powder snow. And shockwave for the kill. This is probably the one of the only, this is probably one of the legendaries and I'm just like, oh it's an Articuno. Oh, it's also Perk Flying. <laughs> Shockwave. That experience though. Electrode. Do I have anything for Electrode? Electrode is electric. We don't really have anything. I'm not using Hata. You know what, let's go with Shloom. Let's go with Shloom, Muck. See what Muck can do with this guy. Bug catcher webs were sent out Electrode. That grin. That grin on Electrode. There we go. That defense though. Uh, let's go with Sludge again. Screech. Pfft. What does that lower my defense by two stages? Fine. Go. Go. Go right ahead. That was a crit. That was a useless crit, but I will take it. And level 29. Let's go. I think we. I think Shloom is close to another uh, level up move. I believe. I don't know. <sighs> All right. Would you like to cut it? Yes. And trainer number five. Welcome, to Celadon Gym. Yeah. Zelda Gem, the place with grass types, but not really in a nozzle in a randomizer. Ghost Rider and Metapod. Oh, <laughs> uh, what a terrible time to have a uh, Metapod there, uh, Missy New. Dead. So, also, speaking of vocal, actually, Marowak? Okay. I'm gonna switch out for this. Um, let's go to Hata. Um, also did a little bit of research on Jolteon. In later generations, apparently it does no Thunderbolt. Not in this one, unfortunately. The only way for it to no Thunderbolt here is if I magically end up finding the TM for it. If I find it. 
That's a big if. And Marowak hits itself in confusion, killing itself. Cool. I will take it. Let's go. Hate it gets the experience. Flappy. Switch out. Uh, Rowdy's no good. We can go back to Shloom or we can go... No, let's not go into Coin Egg because Flappy's part electric. So let's not. I've been drinking a lot of this water. And this water has to last me pretty much for <laughs> my this recording session. I gotta stop drinking. I have a... Uh, my name is Chris and uh, I have a water drinking problem. Super Potion, really? Alright, fine. He paralyzed me. I kind of missed that because I was kind of looking at the camera at the time, but... Oh well. Flaffy goes down. We get the experience. Hypno, we'll stay in. Oh, excuse me. Actually, you know what? That was probably a bad decision. Or maybe not, we'll see. Disable, miss, ha. Of course I'm fully paralyzed on the one turn. Um You know what? Let's get right let's give Rowdy a chance to shine. Hypno uses disable, missed, and let's go with a good old wing attack. Bop. What do we got? What do we got? You couldn't do just that last little bit. No matter how much I appreciate the critical hit, that was that. As much as I appreciate that critical hit, you still couldn't do just that little tiny bit. He survived on like five. Oddish, we'll keep ready in. Yeah, you couldn't just keep. <sighs> oh well. I know you're doing your best, Rowdy. I know you're doing your best. And Oddish goes down. Bye bye. See you later. And there goes Ghost Rider and. And fight you. My hobby is Pokemon training. And my hobby is going to be killing you. Just saying. <laughs> we gotta ban it. Vocal, you shockwave. See what we got. I say half damage. Hmm? Did more than what I thought. Dead did more than what I thought, and my defense fails not falls not gonna matter because you're going down right now. Bop. <laughs> and 919, that's a lot of experience, man. We're actually doing fairly well so far. So far. Watch now, because I said it, I'm gonna get wrecked at Erica. I'm gonna get absolutely trashed. I'm gonna get bodied so hard by Erica. Watch it now. Because we already saw an Articuno in this episode. Chances are I'm gonna see some I'm gonna see like I don't know we saw we saw Lugia back in back in Vermilion City so who knows we're probably gonna see I don't know like a Groudon or something It'll completely body us Nuzleaf we'll switch out into Shloom yeah watch it out I'm gonna get completely bodied by Erica after this battle we'll go heal <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> you with the fake out. Come on now. Bye bye, Nuzleaf. I did not appreciate that fake out in the slightest. I didn't appreciate that. That was. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Next up is Erica. We're at 19 minutes, so probably after we fight Erica, we might... Um, so I think we'll do the Rocket plays. Um, Rocket Hideout, probably in the next episode. 
Uh, we'll take care of Erica in this one. And yeah, we'll see what we'll, we'll see where that gets us. So let's heal up. <laughs> Do, do, do. All right, let's go. All right, Erica, we're coming for you. Watch, like I said, watch it now. She's gonna body me so hard because those trainers were easy. Okay. We're gonna get bodied so hard, I can tell. All right, let's go. Let's freaking go. All right, want to cut it? Yes. All right, Erica. It's so pleasant, my dear. I must have dozed off. Dozed off, welcome. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. I am a student at the art of flower arranging. There's a course specifically for flower arranging? Interesting. Must be highly paid. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. Not in a randomizer, it isn't. Oh, I'm sorry, I must have had... Okay, you know what? No. I'm not gonna read the rest of that. <laughs> Alright. Let's freaking go! Antoinette with Pidgeotto. Good, good thing we got uh, Vocal in the lead. Let's go with a shockwave, quick attack, that is fine. Shockwave should take you out in one hit. Should. It should. Let's freaking go! Vocal. Man. Arcanine. Well, you wanna change? Yes. Who? Hata. Let's go. Uh, Antoinette sent out Arcanine. And, oh, it has Intimidate. Oh, come on. Let's go with Water Pulse. Ember, not gonna do much. Did... It did six, or, uh, five points damage. Not five, six. Oh, we got the Confusion! Alright. Heal Pulse. Full... You have a full heal. You know what? That's fine. Better than full restore. Because... Our canine is now dead. Let's go. That experience though, 1300. Jump up. Uh, you'd be a good one for Shloom. Uh, Shloom or Rowdy, really? Let's go Shloom. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Antoinette sends a jump up. Let's go. Sludge. You have sleep powder. Maybe I should go out to, um... You know what? You know what I just realized? This is her... Last? No, it's not. Or, yes it is, this is her last mod, and it's the only one that's actually the type that she uses. <laughs> Alright, let's go wing attack. Almost a kill. Almost one. Almost Oko. Sleep Powder? No way. No way, Jose. I sh- Okay, no. I was gonna say, if it stays in the red, it quick attack might kill, but not- not that much HP. We just defeated Erica, everybody. That's crazy. Shloom is now level 30. Antoinette, here we go. I can, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer on you the rainbow badge. Get it. Let's give it. Give it to me. Rainbow badge will make up to level 50. Also allows strength. Let's also take this. TM19. Giga Dream. Would you believe that that is a wonderful move? Um... I believe the TM that she gave us 19. Okay, yeah, it's still Giga Drain, so we could technically give Giga Drain back to Sarah. Um, because I did get rid of that for 
uh, Magical Leaf on Sarah. Alright, let's go back to the Pokemon Center. And in the then I'll call it. So. Spam the A button. Thank you for waiting, blah blah blah. Alright. We did night nice. We did quite a bit in this episode. I just realized. That was probably one of the easiest one of the easiest gym leaders that we've had so far, I believe. Anyways, I'm going to cut it off here, guys. In the next episode, I think we're going to try and attempt to do the Rocket Hideout. So, be sure to stick around for that. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Or, if you're watching this over on Vidme, be sure to leave it an upvote or a follow. Until then, guys, I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.